Hi friends, Rev Janet Jones from High Country United Church up in Camille, Ontario, here with you in Camille, Ontario. Oh, welcome to church. What a beautiful day it is. It's hot. It's so hot. <laughs> anyway, uh, this week we're reflecting on Canadian things. And so I'm having a hard time thinking, what is Canadian? Do you know what's Canadian? I'm Canadian. Isn't that interesting? And I just, we just recorded worship and I've got songs in my heart. And I'm like, is it okay to sing a song with you? I kind of hope so. Anyway, um, this song is actually an African American spiritual. I was like, oh, maybe it's Canadian. Nope, no, it's definitely not uh, Canadian in that sense. However, the words I think kind of express all of us as Canadians who are Christian. At least I hope. And it's a song that we're doing on Sunday. So we'll win win. So you're like, oh, we get a little snippet of what's going to happen. It's a good day. And so it goes, I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I think we've done this in a reflection before. I'm going to work so, hmm, God can use me, hmm, anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to work so, God can use me, anywhere, Lord, anytime. Hmm, that one's interesting. You're going to work so God can use you anywhere, Lord, anytime. COVID-19. I don't know about you, but I'm working from home, church, my car, <laughs> my spare room, <laughs> and then other people's front lawns or backyard porches. I wonder what others are doing for their work. I wonder what our young people are thinking about doing in their lives. And are they thinking of it as a calling, as something they can do to change the world, to do, well, not, I don't want to say God's bidding, but to share, whoopsie doodles, God's love in great ways. I know not everybody wants a retail job, but those jobs there are, are a great place to show that we care for each other. Those in grocery stores, those in banks, accounting offices, oh Lord, when we have to give our money to the government, those in our farms, those in our schools, those in our churches, lawyers' offices, police facilities, homeless shelters, Nonprofit organizations like the YMCA, the United Way. So many in our community like SPCA, Feral Cats, Cats Anonymous. Those doing web design, especially in this time where almost every company has to have a website or a web presence so they can share their work. Artists, oh my goodness, artists, songwriters, all of those. Cleaners, oh my goodness. That's a calling. Factory workers. I think of so many different fields of work and how we can think of them as how we're impacting others not just another nine to five job or whatever hours, not just the same old, same old, but building cars that keep families safe and get them to where they need to go. Building houses that will change a family's dynamic for the better, potentially. Mortgages, 
so many things. So today I wonder, as Canadians, is your job, what was your job if you're retired, is your job, or even what you're doing now as retired people, is your job a calling? Or is it just something you've done? And if it hasn't felt like a calling, could you speak to God about that? And ask God, why have I been called to this field of work? I often ask myself, why have I been called to this field of work? Knowing that I am not a quiet, solemn person at all times. I can be. For those who don't know me, I can be. And yet God continues to answer me saying, you're called to share the joy. You're called to share the hope. You're called to share it differently, as unique as you are. So many jobs, when I look at them, they are a calling. There are many jobs I could not do for the work is very physical or just so um, repetitive. I need flexibility and spontaneity. That's my calling and that is this job. But there's something about uh, that I just love when I hear someone says, I put in my nine to five and now I'm done. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that's usually a hard nine to five. Doctors, nurses, oh my goodness. So many jobs. So I want you to challenge yourself and ask yourself if you felt like your job is a calling. And if not, have a conversation, journal it out. If you're one of those who just kind of needs to blurt things on paper, that's how I find God talks to me sometimes too. But also ask our young people that are around you, hey, have you thought about what you're going to do with your life? Why are you going to do that? And then if they say why, and it doesn't have something on how it's going to impact the world, ooh, I can't wait to see what you're going to do within that to help our world be a better place. Do you have any ideas? Really, get them wondering. It's our job to help us wonder. Anyway, so we're celebrating each other as Canadians. Whether you were born here, whether you came here, whether you are temporarily here, or whatever, we celebrate you. And to all our friends who became Canadian citizens in the last few years, welcome! We're so glad you're here and contributing to such a diverse country we are. And I pray that you are feeling welcomed. Let us pray. A loving and gracious God, I thank you for all my Canadian friends, whether they are still here, whether they have gone to other lands, as I know some have. I thank you that um, there is such a wide array of things for us to do as callings in this land, and that each job that we take on can do some good and make change in our world. So God, help us have courage and strength if we need to be a voice for change. Help us um, encourage our young people to think about what they're going to do with their lives. And help us just to think outside the box in these times on how to do our work and how to really share joy and love with each other. For God be with us this day and all our days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, I guess I'll see you tonight for prayers, and uh, tomorrow our, our daily reflection will be scheduled for publishing around 9.30. Well, 9.30. It's always 9.30 when I publish it ahead of time, so I hope you have a great day, and stay hydrated, and keep cool if you can. Until I see you next time, friends, Sorry, next time, next time, friends, this is Rev. Janet Jones, as always, saying God is with you. Have a good one.